Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. My apologies for not uh, putting up the payday prep video yesterday on Friday. I'm putting it up today on Saturday. So this is really early Saturday morning. I got home from work yesterday and I just wasn't feeling very well. Uh, glad that it was Friday though and I'm very glad that it's the weekend. So having a cup of coffee with you guys this morning. And... Uh, I will be doing a Twilight Zone video later on today also, so it will be posted today. This will be posted probably closer to the afternoon, depending on where you are in the world or in the country, but closer to the afternoon, my time. <clears throat> but like I said, I will also be putting up a Twilight Zone video today, which is pretty nice. There's a lot of news this week, so I hope that you'll enjoy this video, and I hope that you'll enjoy that one as well. So that's my payday prep you're looking at right there. Not in the quantities that I got, but just to give you an idea of what I did get. So I went into the supermarket and I saw some awesome deals. I mean, I could not pass these deals up. So I'm going to tell you how much I got of each and how much I paid for it. So the first thing I'm going to cover is the fudge brownie mix and the cornbread muffin mix because those are the ones that have all the calories so i ended up getting 12 packs or if you probably are roughly 124 ounces of those fudge brownie mix bags so 12 packs i only paid three dollars and 96 cents for 12 packs of those uh, fudge brownie mixes and that came out to 33 cents a pack for the cornbread muffin mix I ended up getting 45 packs of those. Those were 22 cents a pack. Plus, I had a $1 coupon for that. So I ended up paying $3.96 for the fudge brownies. And I ended up paying $8.90 after I took my $1 coupon off for the 45 packs of the cornbread and muffin mix. That came out to a total of less than $14, all right? Like $13.84 or something like that or 86 cents, something like that. All right? And for that $14, we'll call it $14, but for that $14, we got a total of 43,740 calories, which is an awful lot of calories for your dollars. Are they good calories? Yes and no. And we'll go over that here in a second. But of those 43,740 calories, we also got a total of 648 grams of protein. So you're getting a little bit of protein in there. Is it good protein? Probably not, but it's still some protein, okay? That if you go ahead and uh, take that cornbread and use it as a side dish, you know, and, and uh, have it with other staple foods, it's going to be a good morale booster, number one. And this is very easy to pack for long term okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all of the cornbread that i got and i'm going to pack it like i've shown you before in a mylar bag with a few oxygen absorbers in there i'm going to put more than one this time because i really want to make sure that this is preserved well and i'm going to make sure that when i put these individual bags in there i'm going to make sure that i slit a little hole to make sure that there's room for any oxygen inside of the bag to be drawn out by the oxygen absorber. Now the fudge brownies, we probably go through about one pan of fresh fudge brownies every month. My wife will probably make a pan of fudge brownies every month. So I'll probably leave those out. And most of them we end up giving away anyways. But it's incredible because it doesn't matter what kind of brownie mix I get. I don't know what my wife does. But no matter what kind of brownie mix I get her brownies come out awesome so and i'm sure that these will come out just as good as any other one she's made i don't know what her secret is she says i just follow the instructions and i'm like i don't know because it doesn't matter what kind we get they're always good so i'm gonna let her keep making brownies because it works now the apple cider vinegar and this is organic apple cider vinegar uh with the mother in it i got a great deal on these half-gallon jugs are normally roughly $10, and I was able to get them for just shy of $5. I ended up getting two of these, and 
I ended up paying less than $10 for one full gallon of apple cider vinegar, which is organic, and it's got the mother in it. Now, from what I understand, and please correct me if I'm wrong and educate me on the comments, from what I understand, apple cider vinegar with the mother in it is a good probiotic, meaning that it's good for your digestive system, and it helps also to flush out your body of any uh, uh, con contaminants. Now, that's what I understand from it. Something else that I understand is that you can take some apple cider vinegar, as long as it's got the mother in it, and use it to extend the mother to other drinks. Like, for example, uh, you can take a uh, big jar of uh, tea, let's say just regular homemade tea, and put some of the apple cider vinegar in it, and the mother in it will grow inside that tea. As long as you put a little bit of honey or something like that in that tea, the mother will grow and turn that drink into a probiotic as well. So if any of you have experience with that, please let me know because it would be a great thing to prep, all right? Being that vinegar lasts indefinitely, it would be a great thing to prep and you wouldn't need to prep that much of it because you know that you can use it with other drinks and extend the mother and the probiotic benefits to other drinks by using the uh, apple cider vinegar that's got the mother in it. So please let me know in the comment if you have any experience with this. Now there's a couple of things I want to cover about this prep. So anyways, the, the entire prep, the apple cider vinegar and all of the uh, muffin and brownie mixes you see there and the amounts that I told you, everything came out to $23, $22.84. Okay, so, so remember ladies and gentlemen, the payday preps, the concept behind the payday preps is to show people that they can prep on the cheap. And another concept that I like to put out is that you don't have to prep exactly what you're looking for that week. I just walked into the supermarket and they were having what's called a sidewalk sale. And they had a whole bunch of stuff. You know, they had uh, toiletries, they had uh, toilet paper, paper towels, stuff like that. I already have plenty of that, okay? And honestly, I don't think I have enough room to get more of that stuff. But I have room for stuff like this. I have room for 47,000 calories that can fit in one bucket, all right? I got 47,000 calories here, or I'm sorry, 44,000 calories here that will fit in one five-gallon bucket, all right? And that will last a long time. I have room for that. And I do know that we like cornbread here. Well, my wife makes cornbread actually on a pretty regular basis as well. Uh, some of the things that I like about this prep is that you can put it away for morale, okay? It will definitely, just imagine if your supply lines were cut off for a prolonged period of time and maybe once a month or once every two weeks you took out a pack of fudge brownies and if you have kids or even for yourselves, uh, how that would boost morale. You know, going from eating your basic staples to having something that is very sweet and very rich in flavor, you know, it would definitely be a big morale booster. And the cornbread, even though the cornbread is used, usually used mostly as like a side dish, you can add things to the cornbread to make it into like a dessert. You know, fortunately, I love cornbread just the way it is. You know, you just make it the way it is, plain and Everyone in my family really likes it just plain. But if you're looking for something that's sweeter, let's say you ran out of all of your fudge brownie mix, you're looking for something that's sweeter, you can add a little bit of honey to the cornbread, uh, maybe add some fruit to it, add a little bit of sugar, whatever you have, and make it into something better than what it has been packaged in, into. Okay? So those are a couple of things that I wanted to cover as far as what you can do with these preps. You don't necessarily have to be getting something on a payday prep that you're actually going to look for. If something just pops out of an aisle and you're like, oh, wait a minute, I see a sticker there. Let's take a look at what that sticker is saying. Oh, this is on sale. Whoa, look at this. So I ended up getting a whole bunch of calories here for a very low amount of money. And I ended up prepping some vinegar that is very good for you and will last indefinitely. Okay, give me a second here. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. I hope you don't mind. 
it's pretty early in the morning here. It's about six. Well, it's not that early for me. I've been up for a couple of hours. But it's pretty early in the morning for some people. Now, there's something I wanted to cover real quick. These fudge brownies and this cornbread and muffin mix. Is it really good for you? Probably not. Okay? And what I mean by is it really good for you? I'm pretty sure that the cornbread and muffin mix has GMO corn in it. Why am I pretty sure of it? There's no label on it that says GMO corn. But the fact of the matter is, is that here in the U.S., probably 99% of the corn that's raised here in the U.S. is GMO. Can't get away from it. I cannot grow my own corn, uh, especially living here in Alaska. Uh, so I have to get what is available to me. And one thing that I know for sure is that if the SHTF ever did happen, that I wouldn't care whether there was GMO in there or not. Now, if you are of the ability to grow your own food, grow your own meat, vegetables, etc., that is outstanding. I applaud you because that is a great thing. That is my goal. That is a goal that I have that hopefully I'll be able to take you on that journey uh, once I start and uh, and once I progress, because as you all know, if you've been following me for a while, you all know that I want to have a huge garden. Uh, I want to have pigs, goats, chickens, all of those things. Uh, however, you know, priority right now for me is to finish building the house that I started. So that has to get done first. But I will be doing all of those things and try to become more self-reliant. I don't think we can all be 100% self-sufficient but we can be very self-reliant to where most of our needs are met by our own work. Okay, that's what being reliant is. That's what being self-reliant is. Is when you can fulfill most of your needs by yourself without having to rely on someone else. Uh, I don't think there exists a world where you can be 100% reliant because... No matter what you do, you're going to need something that someone else made. All right. If you can exist being 100% reliant, that is great. Good for you. I'm not sure what kind of quality of life you'd have being 100% reliant. But if you can do it and you can live like that and you like it, then that's a great thing, I think. Okay. So having covered that on the GMOs, yeah, I know that this food is not the greatest food. And most foods nowadays that you find, at least here in the U.S., are not the greatest foods. Because uh, it's, you know, I think it's kind of like a form of soft kill, you know. And, uh, you know, I'll put on my tinfoil hat real quick. You know, uh, the sicker that we're kept, the more money that the corporation of the United States can make. That's pretty much all there is to it. All right. Now I'll take off my tinfoil hat and carry on. Now, I wanted to also tell you guys about a video that I saw uh, this week that is very heartbreaking, but I think very necessary. If there are any new subscribers to this, this channel, and if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Push that subscribe button. And you know what? I almost never say this, so I'm going to go ahead and take 30 seconds to, to do my spill. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe. So far, I've realized that the community that we're building here it's a great community, very interactive. If someone has a question on the comments, it's usually answered uh, by someone else. And I try my best to answer every single question. Uh, the, the more subscribers that log on and the more subscribers that ask questions, the more difficult it becomes for me to answer every question. But I'm trying my best to answer every question that everyone puts on there to the best of my ability. So I thank those of you that take part in helping out other subscribers and answering their questions and or just having a conversation with each other on the uh, comments section. So thank you for that. But if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you like the content and you think that it has value, share it and please hit like. When you hit like, uh, YouTube has an algorithm that the more likes a video has, the more people that it introduces the video to as a prospective video that that person can watch okay so if you do that it'll help the channel grow and we will all become better because of it because as you know that 
the main concept of this channel is not to make you an expert prepper, all right? Because I never said that I was an expert pretty much at anything I'm not an expert at. But the main concept of this channel is to wake you up. If you're on the fence about prepping, watch this channel and see how cheap it is, how inexpensive it is to actually prep foods that will keep you alive. If the time ever came where you weren't able to get outside resources or resources outside your local area, all right? This channel is made to wake people up. So share this information, share this channel, share this video so that other people can be woken up and can say, wait a minute, it's, I, I don't need a whole bunch of money to prep. You know, I can spend $20 every other week or every payday and I can actually prep. In one year, you can have a year's supply of food if you spend $20 on the right kinds of foods every other week. So think of how easy it is for people to actually prep and most people don't know that. So having said that, let me get back to this video. The name of the video for which I will provide a link all right, in the description. The name of the video is Zimbabwe's Forgotten Children, a true story of what it's like to live with no food. Okay, so it's a true story of what it is like to live without food. Okay, and this video is heartbreaking. It's not for the soft-hearted. Okay, uh, there were several times during the video that I wanted to turn it off, but I actually made myself continue watching it because it's important. And if you are new to prepping, watch this video because I guarantee you, if you are new to prepping and you still have a little bit of that normalcy bias inside of you, watch this video. I think it will help to convince you that you should be prepping. And if you are already a prepper and have been a prepper for a long time, watch the video because I think it will encourage you to continue prepping and it will show you that there is meaning behind prepping, how important it is, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put that link to that video on the description. But the name of the video, just in case you get to watching this, and I haven't put the link up yet, is called Zimbabwe's Forgotten Children, A True Story of What It's Like to Live Without Food. Okay? Now, having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because uh, it's already been a few minutes and I want to upload this video and I do have some things to do this morning before the day starts. So I will be leaving you with a reminder that governments are like an eagle. An eagle that has a right wing and a left wing. However, they are both controlled by one brain. It's all an illusion, ladies and gentlemen. It's an illusion of choice. And remember that if you're on your own in this life and you think you've had too much of this life, hang on because the blessing of life is your spirit. And if you lose your spirit, you've lost everything. So remember that you are loved. And remember that Alaska Prepper loves you as well. I've never met one of you face to face. But something magical happens in YouTube that allows a content creator to actually begin to love his subscribers don't ask me what it is but it is true okay and just remember ladies and gentlemen no matter what your situation in life is you are not alone you are not alone no matter what your situation in life is you as a person have worth you are worth something even if you think you're not you are okay Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Reach one, teach one, repeat. If everyone were to do this, the world would be a better place. And no, it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.